Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to install Nitex free OptiScaler mod in games running on a PC with an RTX GPU. Already shown you the process for AMD GPUs, tested the mod on my ROG LA. we'll drop the video link in the description. On RTX GPUs we don't need to spoof DLSS setting as they support DLSS natively. Installing the mod is very simple, just need to rename mods nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll file. Copy it along with other mod files, paste them in the games install directory where the games exe file is present. The primary function of this mod is to replace DLSS subscaler with FSR or XSS subscaler. A couple of weeks ago the mod received an update that added frame generation support to it. This is exactly what I am going to test in this video. Using OptiScaler mod we can even customize upscaling settings. For DLSS we can select the different presets, change the sharpening levels. It's a very handy tool. The best part is it's very easy to use OptiScaler. You can enable the mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key while the game is running and change the settings on the fly. At the moment, FSR frame generation is an experimental phase. It does not work properly with most of the games. You will observe flickering of games hard elements after enabling frame generation. But the frame generation effect should work properly, should be seeing the smoothing effect. Its compatibility will improve in the future. The latest builds of OptiScaler mod that support frame generation are not even available on OptiScaler's GitHub page. You need to obtain them from OptiScaler's Discord server. I'll give its link in the description. I'll give you the download link to the latest version of OptiScaler mod that I'll be using in this video. Version 0.7 Preview 19 build. In this video, I'll be testing the mod in two games, Star Wars Jedi Survivor and a Plague Tale Requiem. We'll be running the games on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Now the latest version of Star Wars Jedi Survivor is not compatible with the latest version of Nukem Nice DLSS G2 FSR 3 mod. This is for EA app version of the game, not talking about the Steam version, but OptiScaler mod works fine with it. When it comes to a Plague Tale Requiem, in that game if you enable FSR frame generation via any FSR 3 mod, games hard elements will flicker. This won't be the case for OptiScaler mod. This mod does not work like Nukem Nice mod, which replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR frame generation. In order to get OptiScaler's FSR frame generation working in any game, you need to use it with a game that uses DirectX 12 and supports DLSS subscaler. The game does not need to support FSR or DLSS frame generation. OptiScaler mod tries to capture a heartless image so that the game's interface does not flicker after enabling frame generation. These are the frame generation settings. Frame generation can be enabled or disabled from the first setting. Frame generation hardfix setting very important. You will be required to enable this setting in games that exhibit hard element flickering after enabling frame generation. Limit values are available for it. Increasing these values can help in reducing the hard element flickering. But at higher values, the game can crash. Value varies from game to game. Next we have frame generation allow async setting. This can help in improving the performance after enabling frame generation. Again it varies from game to game. Frame generation debug view very important setting. After enabling this setting, you'll see something like this on your display. In the bottom middle image, there shouldn't be any HUD elements. These are the HUD elements that I am talking about. If these HUD elements are present in the bottom middle image, then the game's interface will flicker after enabling frame generation. Then you can try increasing the limit values to prevent the HUD from flickering. First I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of A Plague Tale Requiem. Before jumping into the gameplay, I would like to thank Keymail and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. With this subscription, we can play games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. EA Play membership is also included with Game Pass. We get access to hundreds of games from Microsoft Studios and even third-party studios, not just limited to AAA titles, even indie titles are included with Game Pass. We also get a small discount on some games being sold on Microsoft Store. In India, Microsoft Store even supports UPI mode of payment. Before starting the game, I'll just show you the mod setup process. This is the mod's archive file. I'll give its download link in the description of the video. Extract its content. It's this folder. Open it. A custom nvngx.dll file is not required for RTX GPUs. Just rename the mods nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll file. This is the mods configuration file. This file corresponds to FSR 3.1.1 for DirectX 12. I beg your pardon for Vulkan. And this one is for DirectX 12. Show you its version. 
1.0.1.37507 FSR version 3.1.1 basically adds anti lag to support to FSR this file corresponds to XCSF subscale this is its version 1.3.1.32 copy the mods files including dxgi.dll need to paste them in the games install directory where the games exe file is present open the games game pass page click on the three dots here click on manage click on files click on browse open a play tail requirements install folder open content folder this is the directory where the games exe file is present paste the mod files here that's it the mod has been installed the process is that simple for rth gpus this game uses a very old version of DLSS Subscaler. I think it's version 2.4. So I'll be updating it. Download the latest version of DLSS Subscaler from Tech Power Up's website. I'll give its link in the description. There it is. Version 3.7. It's compatible with all RTX GPUs. Select any server. I've already downloaded this file. There's the DLSS zip file that I just downloaded. Open it. Extract the DLL file. Copy. Open the games install directory. This is the directory. Games DLSS file should be present here. There it is. Check its version. Version 2.4.12.0. Just replace it with the latest version of DLSS. Paste. For RTX GPU owners, it's recommended to enable hardware accelerated GPU shared link. Right click anywhere in the desktop area. Display settings. Graphics. Change default graphics settings. Enable this setting. Hardware accelerated GPU shared link. If your monitor supports VRR, enable this setting as well. I'll just enable G-Sync for NVIDIA control panel. and enable V-Sync as well. Manage 3D settings. Program settings. Select the game's exe file from here. I've already selected it. Playtale Requiem, this is the Game Pass version of the game. Scroll down, make sure VSync is enabled. Here you'll see this setting low latency mode. Set it to Ultra, it will help in reducing the latency. My monitor supports FreeSync Premium, it's G-Sync compatible. Click on Setup G-Sync here. Enable the setting, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode, enable settings for the selected display model, apply. That's it, we are ready to run the game. Make sure a third party overlay like Afterburner is not running in the background. Review tuner statistics can cause the game to crash after enabling OptiScaler mod. So I'll be using Windows Toolbar. Just press Windows plus G keys together. In game settings, restriction set to full HD. You need to enable DLSS subscaler setting from the game settings in order to use OptiScaler mod. I am using DLSS Upscaler's quality preset, cannot access frame generation setting. DLSS frame generation setting is exclusive to RTX 40 series GPUs. Number of animated rats and rats refresh rate set to low. Motion settings are set to ultra. Motion blur disabled. Now I'll open OptiScaler mods menu, press the insert keyboard key. Okay, from here we can select the different presets of DLSS. I am using its quality preset for this preset i'll be selecting preset e helps me reducing ghosting around the fast moving particles entirely up to you different presets are available from here we can override the quality of this upscaler for quality preset 1.5 is the scale these are the frame generation setting first i'll run the game without frame generation disable uncheck the box save and i close this is the opening sequence, here FPS is close to 60, it's the perfect scenario for enabling frame generation. Game is very demanding on the GPU, 90-95% to 95 GPU usage. Ok, now I'll enable frame generation. On. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness, but you can see hot elements are flickering. Hugo, like 
Subtitles are flickering. Check out the HUD element in the bottom left corner. It's flickering when I move the camera around. Now I'll enable frame generation HUD fix setting. This setting. Limit set to 1. Okay. Check out the HUD element in the bottom left corner. It's not flickering now. I can observe some artifacts around the character model, upscaling related artifacts. So frame generation hard fix setting worked in this game. See, subtitles are not flickering now. This mod works very nicely. I've tried using Luke FC's mod in this game. It was able to get frame generation working, but the subtitles and the HUD elements used to flicker. I'll just open the debug view now. First I'll disable frame generation HUD fix setting. Now just check out the bottom middle image. I can see the game's HUD elements in this image. This means if you enable FSR frame generation, the HUD elements will flicker. Now enable frame generation hard fix setting. Now check out the bottom middle image. The HUD elements are gone. This means game's HUD elements won't flicker when you enable FSR frame generation. Now I'll be testing the next game. Game Pass version of Jedi Survivor which is basically the EA app version of it. Open the game's install directory. Installing the mod is fairly simple. Open SW game folder. Open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. This is the games directory where you need to place the mod files. Copy the same mod files again. That's it. Mod has been installed. Make sure hardware accelerated GPU shutdown is enabled for this game as well. Also enable VSync and low latency mode from NVIDIA control panel. Do not use afterburner and repair tuner statistics even for this game. In game settings, full HD resolution, display mode set to full screen. I'm basically using the game's high preset. Vsync off, not using ray tracing. Enable DLSS upscaler setting. I'm using its quality preset. Frame generation unsupported. This is DLSS frame generation exclusive to RTX 40 series GPUs. Motion blur, film grain, and chromatic aberration effects disabled. There's Cal, I'm on Planet Kobo, here FPS is close to 80. First I'll enable OptiScaler frame generation with hardfix setting disabled. Open the mods menu. Ok, this game supports an older version of DLSS Upscaler, version 3.1.13. You can update it if you want, entirely up to you. Cannot access the mod settings, ok. Need to pause the game first like this yeah the settings are working different upscalers i'll select dlss dlss will only work on rtx gpus frame generation setting enabled back to the game fps increased to around 135 game is running so smoothly frame generation is definitely working but the game's hard elements are also flickering just observe the game's hurt in the bottom left corner Flickering is going on. I can also observe a tearing like effect around the left and right edges of the display when I move the camera around quickly. You can see some double images around the left edge of the display. The lightsaber, tip of the lightsaber. Common FSR3 artifact. No significant artifacts around Cal's character model. No ghosting around the lightsaber. Very difficult to observe it. Maybe some minor ghosting around it. Okay, I'll just open the frame generation debug view now. <laughs> Need to pause the game. In the bottom middle image, you can see the game's HUD element. This means the game's HUD elements will flicker when we enable frame generation. That's exactly what happened. Now I'll enable the frame generation hardfix setting. On. 
limit set to 1. Check out the bottom middle image. HUD element is gone now. This means it should not flicker with frame generation enabled. Let's check this out. Disable frame generation debug view. Save and I close. Back to the game and you can see HUD in the bottom left corner is not flickering. It's fixed. So good to see this setting working properly in this game as well. Hopefully more games will become compatible soon. The mod is still in very early stages. It may exhibit bugs in many games. Just give the modder some time to figure out things. That's it for the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.